Hello, Brian Myers here with Winning Solutions Inc. And today I have a tutorial on how to effectively document changes. Um, today we're going to cover documenting a change to a Microsoft Access database, but this uh, this type of documentation can be used for documenting other bugs or changes to websites or software. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Microsoft Word here, and that's how we're going to record our, our changes to this database. Um, I'm going to start by putting in some information here, um, looking at what our database is named, which is Best Price 2009. So I'm going to say the database. I'm going to put that Brian Myers is requesting the update, and I'm doing it here on the 14th. So we'll put that in there so they know when the when the uh, update or the change was requested. And then what we're going to do is is document the the change that we want to have done to this database. So I'm going to come over and open up the database here. And we'll go ahead and make a note. Open database. And we're going to click on the items here. So click on items option and then we're going to uh, we're going to add a record here for programming tools um, to show uh, show the bug to our our developers um, select oops So select the programming tools from the, uh, the search dropdown, which is what we just did. We're going to go ahead and select an item type of programming tools. And then we're going to go over here and enter a cost for these uh, particular tools. And oh, we get an error here. Uh, do you want to record this price or update? Um, well, we haven't really updated anything. This is a new record, so we'll go ahead and click yes. But that's the actual bug we wanted to document, is that uh, we only want that uh, message to show up when we've changed uh, an actual price as here, this is where we would want it to show up. We don't want to show it when it's a new record. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes, and we're going to go over and say enter a value for the cost column. Error message displays. Actually, I think it's more of a warning message. Um, please do not have this message display on new records. Okay, so that kind of documents here how we actually got that bug to show up, and we'll, we'll go through it here again to make sure that we're reporting the bug correctly. So we're going to open up the database. We'll just go through our steps here. Click on Items option. Select Programming Tools from the Search dropdown. So here's our Search dropdown, Programming Tools. Uh, select Programming Tools for the item type. Enter a value for the cost column. And there is our, our message. Uh, warning message displays, and we'll even go a step further and actually put that message in there. Do you want to record this price update? And this is our actual change that we're going to make here. So now we've got that documented and we've even tested it to see that, yep, that's how we replicated the, the bug or the change that we wanted. The reason that you want to do documentation in this way 
is that it allows a programmer to come in and actually step by step see how you actually got to the change that you wanted and how to uh, recreate bugs and y by having that you kind of reduce the amount of time that the programmer has to be looking around or or guessing at what what problems you're having with the database um, it helps keep your costs down and help helps get a more accurate um, estimate when you're when you're asking a, a programmer you know how much does this change cost how much will this cost well if you say my database is broken um, they're not going to be able to quote that very well but if you can say well I want to make this change here at this point I want to remove this message then they have a clear path to kind of see what you want updated and you have a much better chance of getting your update done correctly when you document it well um, I'd like to uh, say go ahead and subscribe give us a like um, if you have any questions on access databases or uh, anything to do with computer IT work please check out how to contact us below um, thank you and have a good day